I'd been craving homemade biscuits and gravy for the longest time and was so excited to be able to do this meal using our own pigs from our backyard and our pig farm. It took about 20 business days for our pigs to completely be butchered at the butch shop in our garage, but it was well worth the wait because this meal was so delicious. I made overnight dough to be able to achieve these butter tasting biscuits. They are so delicious and you only have to cook them in the oven for 20 business minutes. It's really a blessing to be able to use my own farm grown animals for meat for my family to eat. Self-efficiency is amazing. The bonnet that I am wearing in this video, I was able to make it with pure silk from my porch. And it's so spacious and very airy. I did not add many seasonings to my ground pork because I wanted to make sure that I did not over salt or over season this dish because too much salt can easily ruin this dish. I churned a mini batch of butter just for this meal and I'm just adding it to my ground pork and I'm going to incorporate that to prepare to make the roux for our gravy. Thankfully my neighbors allowed me to get some flour from their flour mill and I was so thankful and grateful for that opportunity because we ran out in our own flour mill. Then I gently combined all of the flour into the ground pork and butter mixture to prepare for our gravy. I was able to use some of our cow's milk from one of our oldest cows in our pasture. Fresh milk from the farm is the best milk, period. I really just eyeball the amount of milk that I added to this dish. And also keep in mind the more flour that you add, the thicker your gravy will be. So you want to add accordingly. Ski ye. Before adding any seasonings to my gravy, I wanted to taste it first to see where the salt content was. I made this do not slap your mama seasoning and I added just a little bit of this to the gravy because again, I do not want it to be too salty. And you want to just mix your gravy and let it simmer on low heat while it thickens and then it's time to plate. If your gravy becomes too thick, you can just add in a little bit of milk to loosen it up, but make sure you stir it and combine it together. Oh, my God. 